talk about the Weldtec 200 MP which is a multi-process welder we can turn it on at the back and it brings up our volts and our amp screen we have a switch here that puts it through the processes the first one here we set it up and we can do arc welding and it shows our voltage we can set it in the middle and we can do MIG welding we switch it down to the bottom here and we can do DC lift art TIG we go down to the next switch down the bottom here and the WT200MP can have a spool gun fitted with it for doing things like aluminium with small spools or stainless with small spools. So when we're not using it, we have it in standard. When we put the spool gun on, we can switch it down there and that switches it into the spool gun mode. We have three knobs along the side here. The first one here controls the voltage. Now the voltage controls the energy of the whirlpool. The higher the number, the more amount of energy we put into the whirlpool, the thicker the material and more energy we put in. The second one here controls the wire speed, which controls the amperage we put into the job. The wire speed must match the voltage and it's all about the sound to get a nice sound. The last one on the list here is inductance. Now inductance controls the explosion when the wire comes down and hits the job. When we want to use big solid wires, we make the inductance a little bit harder. And when we're using smaller wires, we like our arc a little bit softer, we'll put it onto that side. Now the two LED lights here, when they're on MIG, they are what we call real time. The voltage will show when you're welding, and the amperage that has been created by the arc will come up on this one. So they are real time meters. Inside the door, we have a quick reference guide, and this is a really handy thing to when you're setting up the welder for your first time, or even to refresh your memory. We have down here the materials that we're using, mild steel. We have um, the type of wire, 
self shielded flux cord wire or we have solid wire. We have the connection for the torch, in this case negative and in this case positive, the wire sizes that we can use, the type of roller that needs to be fitted to the machine and we have a rough guide. It's only a guide on material thicknesses, the voltage, the wire speed and the inductance that we need that should get you going and then you can adjust the final details after you started welding. The machine can be adjusted while you're welding which is a really handy feature. Now we're going to talk about putting the WT200NP into the arc welding mode. We use the middle uh, the switch here. We switch it from the middle to the top arc. You'll see that the voltage comes up but nothing comes up on the amperage screen. That is how it, it is set to do it. It's a real time meter and when we're welding the amperage will show in the screen. We're going to remove the MIG power cable and I've read the packet of, on the electrodes and it tells me that I put my electrode handpiece into the positive side. It's important that you read the packet to get the correct polarity for the electrode that you're using. So I fit it into the positive side and I fit my earth into the negative. Always make sure that you get a good strong earth on the job so you get a good strike when you start the electrodes and the rod will run correctly. When fitting the electrode to the handpiece, we hold the top of the handpiece, we turn the bottom, we put our electrode in, and then we hold it at the top, turning the base until it locks nice and solid, and we put it in. And now we're ready to weld.